Afiyet olsun. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. How do we come beautiful? Why you want to become beautiful? How you want to become? How do you uh, become beautiful? I'm saying, why do you want to become beautiful? For who? Whose eyes going to see? If you see no one, only for my eyes, and say "puh" to you, that's the worst thing you can do because you start to worship yourself. Hmm? One ilah, one follower, one prophet. All you finish. Most terrible thing. So who is going to find you beautiful? That is the uh, question. For the woman, you must look beautiful. Not to the ne mahram. I mean not to the mahram. Not to those ones who are forbidden to you. You must look beautiful to the ones who are not forbidden to you. Those ones who are your husbands. Your fathers, not to those ones who have no relation to you. So, whose eyes you are looking for? That is a question you need to ask. If you are saying, how do I become beautiful to Allah and to His Prophet and to the Awliya Allah? That time we say, Follow their way. You will become beautiful. But you will appear very ugly to the rest of the world. Let me tell you that much. You will appear very ugly, very weird, very strange, very garib to this dunya. You will appear very hateful. People look at you with hate. Those ones who are shaitanic. Your ego, oof, will get very angry with you. But Allah and His Prophet, and the Awliya Allah, they will find you beautiful. And those who are in their way, they will find you very beautiful. That time, it doesn't matter too much mm, what is in the outside form, what they call themselves to, Muslim, Christian, or Jewish. There are so many Muslims that we come and we show the sunnat, we're just walking, we're not showing, we're not doing anything, we're just being as we are, they look at us with such hatred, because we're wearing a turban. But at the same time, we see unbelievers looking at us and smiling. So many of us, this, and they instinctively, how do they behave? They start to look at, especially the men now, who are wearing the turbans, immediately, they think either you are a prince or you're a sultan. They treat you like royalty, isn't it? Never they look at your turban and they just think that you are president or you are a CEO. They think that you're royal and they say, oh, please come this way. They don't know you. Why is that? Because this is a crown. A taj. That's what a taj means, no? Crown. Crown. The turban is a crown for the believers. So that unbeliever at that time, belief has touched him. And he's liking it. Something that is pulling. What is pulling? It's not unbelief. It is belief because he has it in his heart. Because in reality, everyone is a Muslim. Everyone still, they are a Muslim. Inside of their heart, there is still Islam. If you say there is no Islam, then why are prophets sent? Prophets are not sent to make the Muslim to become Muslim. They are sent especially to make those ones who have left the way of belief to come back to faith. Yeah. But are we doing this to appear to be beautiful to the world? No. We're wearing this because we say Allah and His Prophet likes this. And the Awliya Allah, they like it. And it's them <coughs> that we are running to appear to be. Inshallah, we will.
remain like that in their eyes. But you don't become beautiful by concentrating on your beauty in this way. You become beautiful by concentrating on your ugliness. You concentrate on your ugliness. You remove the dirty, ugly characteristics from you. You're concentrating. You're working on that. Then it becomes, it shines because you're burning. You know, when you burn something, you make a fire and there's light. You think every day if you're trying to burn your ego, there's no light? We are not looking to burn our ego to get light, by the way. We're just concentrating on the dirt, trying to burn it away. But others around, they will start seeing that nur that is coming, that light that is coming. Because you are concentrating. You are burning. You are fighting. Every Muslim in the month of Ramadan, they experience that. They experience what tariqat is. Because something else takes over. When you don't eat, you don't uh, drink, you stay away from all these things, you're concentrating as much as you can with prayer, extra prayer and everything. Something else happens. You just you physically, something else happens. And we get this so many times, our non-Muslim friends, which start noticing us a little bit more. They get attracted a little bit more. They want to know a little bit more. And what are you doing in the month of Ramadan? Except to burn our ego. Hmm. So it is important that time. Allah is not looking at our outside form. It's not. Don't concentrate too much on that. Wa min Allahu tafik fatiha. Amen. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. This much is enough. I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Al Fatiha. Amen. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah.